In my PvP video, I was kind of a weird frost fire and I actually went a little bit in arcane. Now, I'll tell you why I did this. I love playing deep frost because I think ice barrier is omega good and I think ice block is omega good as well. You can, if you want to, drop ice barrier and go deeper and get blast wave instead. But for me, the way I like to PvP, I think ice barrier is super good, okay? So what I did is I went through the frost talent tree, got all the things that I think are really, really important. I went through the fire talent tree, got what I wanted, which was power blast and incinerate. I picked up impact, flame throwing and ignite. Some people think that I should have dropped flame throwing for burning soul. Definitely an option. Not something that I did, but if you want to do that, you can do it and it allows you to spam out Scorch without being interrupted. And there are situations where that's super good. However, I feel like because I have Ice Barrier, um, I already have a little bit of anti pushback um, with that spell. So that's why I decided not to go into Burning Soul, but I could easily see myself picking up Burning Soul and having it be really good. It's kind of preference. And then I went three in Arcane, so I could be hit capped with my counter spell. I got one in Arcane Focus. Um, with my gear, I have one plus hit. So I got one in Arcane Focus for two plus Arcane hit. I went one in Elemental Precision for two plus Frostfire hit. I'm hit capped um, for all schools of magic. And then I did 10% um, uh, anti-resist. So 10% or 10 spell penetration, uh, which I also think is really, really solid. So this is the build um, I used. Uh, I like it. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Is it better than Improved Counterspell? No, not necessarily. I just think it was fun to record. Um, now, I'm gonna go through my gear as well. Right now, I think I have literally the best gear you can get that you can farm without going into raids, okay? So, I have Crimson Felt Hat. Okay, so before I show you my gear, what I went for a good balance of plus um, for stats. So I think stamina and intellect are really, really important in PvP. And then of course you want spell damage as well, but picking up some hit along the way, some crit along the way, uh, isn't too bad. So I have Crimson Felt Hat. I got the Star of Mystaria. I was using five set Necropile. Um, so the boots, the cuffs, the leggings, the mantle, the robe, and yeah, there's a lot of reasons why I picked up the set, mostly because it has a ton of stamina, it's got really good stats, has decent spell power, and actually the set bonuses are nice. So if you have the five set, the 23 plus spell power really helps make up for the fact that you know you're not using your robe of the Archmage. Um, you get the bonus resistances, bonus intellect, bonus defense. Uh, overall, it's just a really, really good set for PvP. Um, now I have Netherwind Pants, but obviously you can't farm those, it's just I got lucky in a raid. Uh, Deep Woodlands Cloak. Um, Arbiter's Blade, and then I'm using, the reason why I'm using Arbiter's Blade is because it has stamina. Like I said, any any of my gear choices are mostly because of stamina. Which Blade has more damage and more int, but has no stamina, and I like stamina. Uh, and then, I think going for a main hand is just straight up better than any staff option, just because you can rotate through so many offhands. So, I've got, you know, Fur Bog Medicine Pouch, I've got Skull of Impending Doom, um, I have Penelope's Rose, if I want to use that. I have Celestial Orb if I want to use that. And there was one more th offhand that I had. I don't know where it is though. It's somewhere. Who knows? I think I might have actually vendored it. Shouldn't have. It looks like a book. Where's the book? Oh, here it is. Uh, Spellbound Tomb. So you can rotate through those if you want, depending on what you're fighting against. Um, Bone Creeper Stylus. Plus damage in and damage is super strong. Shivery Hand Wraps. Once again. Stamina, Int, plus damage. Banthok Sash, Stamina, Int, plus damage, plus hit. Um, and then for the rings, Blood of the Martyr, lots of Int, lots of Stam. Uh, Cyclopean Band, Cyclopley, whatever you want to call it. I don't know how to say it, all right? I'm not good with words and stuff. Um, has Int, Stam, plus damage. And then um, for trinkets, I just have a ton of trinkets. With my trinket bar, you can see... I've got uh, Gnomish Battle Chicken, Frost Reflector, Netomatic, Six Demon Bag, uh, Death Ray, and uh, I'm still working on my trinkets, of course. I need Shadow Reflector, Fire Reflector, but that's what I used for talents as well as my gear. Kind of the reason why I went with that. Some people might disagree with me. After everything I've seen in the game, this is what you know I've decided to do, what I think is good. It's been working for me, and yeah, good luck.